Right, we're on the first. We're about 307 away from the green, so I'm hitting an iron. Got six iron. Should leave me about 150 in, which is my ideal yardage for the first. Or do that. About 300 left in. Hey golfers, Paul's back on the channel to showcase what 18 handicap golf looks like. There'll be birdies, there'll be bogeys. It's a stable for competition today, so additional pressure. Anything above or on two points is going to be a good score. You could be all over the place. It's going to be amazing to watch. I'm also going to dissect his round. Starting here, where he's opted for six iron, which is a very unusual play. He doesn't particularly like half shots, so he opted against driver, which is kind of fair enough, but I'd have definitely gone for more than a six iron, and it clearly hasn't worked. So let's see if he can go make a five. I've got a seven iron. It's not what I had in mind after trying to be sensible. You can say that again. But we're in play. Probably just killed your brother. Four? Well, the main concern is this massive bell in front of me. Like <laughs> Hang that up just in case. I got 50 yards to the flag, so this is uh, not my favourite shot. This can only go well then. Sit. Sit. Yeah, it's okay. Pretty good by your standards. Oh. You'd be able to set a flag out on your way past that. Doesn't happen to me. <laughs> right. It's to save a miraculous par. It's got that three foot of swing on it. No, your eyes don't deceive you. Paul puts left handed. More on that later. What did I just say? It's slow. Right, pretty much exactly the same putt, just about half a length. That was a bit cruel, but tap in six, rescued a point somehow. Mm, rescued's not the word I'd use. <laughs> right, I've got a five iron, trying to be sensible again, but hopefully trying to keep it under the wind because it's straight into. Get one out there. There's no wind. Well, I kept it under the wind. There's no wind. It's in play. All right, I've got about 155, including the slope and playing the wind, so. There's no wind. Flags are out on the back downhill, so I'm hitting a nine and hopefully it'll just release down there. What's a nine? Go. I think it's okay. Right, a bit hard done by on that one. I came up a bit short. I think three more yards and I'd have been pin high off this big slope. Uh, Paul, not sure what you're complaining about, pal. You're putting for net eagle. Be happy with two good shots. But we'll just negotiate this down the slope, nestle up to the hole, tap in par is the plan. And I thought the slope was a bit speedier, but... Excuses. Par, three points, back to level. All right, hardest hole on the course, in my opinion. It's quite long, so forced to hit driver this time. And let's see if we can get this working. Full of confidence, then. Ah. It's in play. Debatable. Right, not what I had in mind. I've got 203 yards to the ditch and then another 100 odd to the green. So just a forced layup, hopefully right hand side of the fairway. Oh no. That's exactly where my tee shot went. Friendly. Well, it's left hand side in trouble. Well, I just need to chip it back in play, but get it far enough in so I've actually got a shot to the green. So not go too far into the trees at the other side. That'll do just fine. 
Uh, finally back in play. Got 140 yards to the flag downwind. Just going to try and hit a nice smooth P wedge. Pushed it. Distance right. Right, I got the distance spot on, just pushed it as I said. Now I've just got a straight forward uphill chip. This goes in, it's two points, but I'm looking to just get up and down for one point and get out of here. Well, got a glimpse of some positive mindset, but then back to immediate misery. That was snaggy in that rough. I'd like to think I'll hold this. Doesn't matter if I miss, it's only a point or nothing. So don't leave it short. And I'll leave it an inch short. Damn it. Right, <sighs> uh, we got a risk reward hole into the wind. Probably absolutely stupid idea, but I'm going for the green. And I'm gonna do it. I mean, if you don't think you can do it, you're probably not gonna do it. But I actually think Paul can reach the green here with a good one. Just whether or not he strikes it cleanly. Typical. I hit the path in front of me and somehow managed to get back in the air. Bad tee shot once again, found the water, taken a drop. Got 100 yards, slightly into the wind, should be a perfect sand wedge. Let's just stick it close. Get down. I think it's okay. I need to go long. Just loving my misfortune at the moment. No. Um, right. Find a nice line. Back in play. And I'm somehow 25 to 30 yards long. <laughs> And yeah, that wasn't great. Good birdies, boys. Now watch how the real golfer does it. So quickly back to the point about Paul's putting. He puts left-handed, and if you've seen his chipping style, it's yip central, unfortunately. So he tried this once, nailed a few putts, and then never went back. And it's actually the strongest part of his game now. For five... Hit a stone. No, it didn't. Six for five for one. Right, I'm changing ball because probably ones don't suit me apparently. Eh. Right, I've got an eight iron. Playing about 160 downhill. Aim at that big marker post. Massive pull left. Air yeah, boy. And that's buried itself. On a different planet. Right, I'm out of position again. Way left, but it's about not far off pin high, but not the easiest of chips. Got to get it somewhere on the green. That's it. Right, little up and down again needed. Just bunt it forward. Little hop on that slope. Gonna go right to left. Hopefully in the hole. Played almost exactly as I wanted, but that's a four for two. Alright, short par four. Little dog leg right to left, so I'd wanna be right hand side. Just trying to get a five hybrid out there. Just before Paul unleashes a piss missile down six, I just wanted to take a second to say thank you so much to those of you that are watching. It means a huge amount that you watch me gouging my ball all over the golf course. And if you are new and you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll be bringing weekly incredible golfing content from all over the UK and beyond. All right, back to Paul. And that is my best shot of the day. We found my swing. We're going low. Piss missile it is. Right, we've got about 85 yards to the flag. Don't want to go long. 
lob wedge goes about 80, so I'm just going to hit a full one of them and hopefully stick it close. Oh, get down. Well, it always happens after a good tee shot. Oh dear, you got a feel for the young man. He's actually gone through a really good routine there and come up with a great thought process and focus. But he's just completely made a hash of the shot, unfortunately. Right, after saying I don't want to go long, I went long. Back into the wind, no green to work with though. And um, yeah, just try and land it on the fringe, trickle up to the hole. Yeah, you know, Paul, you utter worm. In his defence, he did actually say afterwards he knew he'd made a mistake here. But leaving yourself short when you've got a short-sided chip is a terrible mistake. Just hit it 15 feet by and give yourself a putt, and then if you hit it softer, then you might even be tight. Oh dear. Go in. Nearly ate my words. Oh, it was in all the way. Oh, I'm left-handed putter. Oh, it's a five, net fourth, two points. Can't be too upset. But you are. All right, straight away par four. Just want to do exactly what I did on the last hole and just knock one up the middle. Five hybrid again. Yes, Paul, love that. Remember the good shots and forget the bad. I'll do nicely. Pureman. Very good. Got about a 130 shot, straight downwind, right between clubs. Pitching wedge goes 140, gap wedge goes 115 ish. So I'm going to go gap wedge and just hope for a little bit of a flyer and the wind to carry it. Uh, go. I think the yard is perfect, I just pulled it. I think I'm going to put it and just... A bad putt's better than a bad chip. Got some swing on it left to right. Ooh, when the student becomes the master. Although, what the hell do I know? Go, 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 go. Right, left myself a bit longer than I wanted, but... Understatement. It's got a decent read. It caught enough. Great four. Right, par four, into a breeze, but I'm only short. There's trouble after about 200 yards, so I'm hitting a seven iron. Trying to get it in a good spot. That was a glorious strike. But it's going a bit high into the wind, but... Still finding something to whinge about. Classic. But you will notice, if Paul gets away off the tee, he generally scores well, so let's see how he finishes this hole. Left side of the fairway, happy days. Good tee shot, left hand side going down towards the flag. Into the wind but downhill, so it's probably balancing out about 150 to the flag. Hitting a 9 iron. Not a 9 this time. Stripesman. Get down. Oh my god. Probably just the worst feeling ever. But that's golf. Sometimes it hates you. <laughs> Absolute nuke of a nine iron. Right, after hitting the best nine iron of my life over the green, I'll come back up with not much green to work with. Sit down. Oh, I thought I hit that nice. Better than short. Hopefully tidy up for the third par in a row. Pretty straight putt, maybe just off the left edge, so I'm aiming left edge. Try not to get too excited, Paul. Gets it. Bush. I once saw that coming. Now I've got 137 to the flag. I'm just going to choke down on a pitching wedge. Sounds wrong. And hope the wind doesn't carry it any further. Middle of the green would be lovely. Couldn't agree more with that statement, Paul. Too many people get sucked into going at flags, especially if you've got a wedge in hand. Just hit the middle of the green. 
especially if put into a strong suit like Paul's. Oh God. Ah oh dear. Advice ignored. Now we can get up and down from there. Ah, oh, what's going on here? Well, I've got a little bit of a wall to contend with, but plenty of plenty of green to work with. Hesitation's not good. Not my best. Here's a quick summary then before Paul finishes out this hole. And obviously you don't have to listen to me. I could be talking out of my ass. What do I know? I'm just a two handicap golfer at the end of the day, but I know that it helps Paul. So with the chips, you've seen a few examples. Just get them on the green. You don't have to do anything too fancy. You don't have to hole that out. Just give yourself a chance of having a putt. Number two, just start to try and hit your clubs consistently. Get yourself to the range. Hit a few balls before you play. Try to eliminate those chunks, shanks and tops. Because the closer you get, the better. And that leads on to the final point of don't be thinking, oh, I really enjoy 120 yards or 100 yards. Just get the ball as close to the green as you possibly can. You can minimise your errors just by being close to the green. Hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, another poor chip. So now I've got to go up and down again. Should be straightforward. Confidence taking a beating. Mm, it's okay. Right, clean up two foot inside the right of the hole should go in. Yep. Good putt. Oh. Hope you've enjoyed. Get into the comments. Tell Paul if he did well or not. And we'll see you next week for part two.